Ah. So yeah, Aaron, we picked up some new people, but none of them are here. <laughs> You're just gonna have to take our word for it. I will take your guys' <laughs> word for it. Your scout's <laughs> on or, or lack thereof scout on or whatever it's you want to call it. Oh, oh crap. Crap, I left it in the car. What? Oh, uh, the pride? I left the prize in the car. Oh. Anyway, you, you guys also the, saw the picture. Yes, um, beautiful. Yeah. So how, where'd you make that, Uncle Lila? Oh, I was just uh, doodling at home, <laughs> painted this picture, went over to visit Heather, and she had this picture on the wall of uh, Port Alice that looked just like it. Mm -hmm. Which is really weird, because I had never been to Port Alice. Okay, so that just came out of your head and, see, and that's the reality. It just came out of my head. I just wanted to have some mountains and lake and some fireweed and some river and turned out this bay and Port Alice on the island look very similar. So I'm going to gift the original to Heather. She's having a bad day. Yeah. Oh, it's a battery thing. Okay. Okay, here we go, kids. Okay, question number one. Question number one. Uh, oh, there. Sorry. I turned this off. You don't have to. There it is. It. Uh, what was the slogan of the double V campaign? Was it V for victory, V for vendetta, democ democracy at home abroad, voice not violence, or vote viral? Thank you. I don't know. I see the cursor now, but I don't have it. I'll unplug the dongle until I get back in. Oh, got it. Okay. Thank you. We have two votes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that means you're waiting for me. Okay, I know this one. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. I was waiting for three. Yeah. Now we have three. Yeah. The answer was democracy at home abroad. Okay. Did everyone get that right? Nope. <laughs> I'm not. My return nope. is not going good. One question in. <laughs> you had one, one superhero vote. Pardon me? We had one superhero vote. V for um, Vendetta. V for Vendetta, yeah. That was me. <laughs> that, that should be a movie. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, and you've got in the notes, Michael, that this is the echo of Du Bois after World War I. We return from fighting. We return fighting. Yeah, we learned that uh, two sessions ago. That was, uh, the boys had good, uh, big plans for encouraging people to enlist and go fight and thought that would uh, would change things when they came back. Good uh, slogan. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Um, Aaron, you know about the lightning round or is that a... I'm sorry? A new thing that we should explain. Oh, no, we got a new thing. Okay. Uh, lightning, lightning round is uh, you get double points, but you okay. have no time to Google. So I tried to make the question easy. And the lightning round question is, is question 10 at the very end. So okay, cool. if you're behind, don't, don't cool. give up because you, get, you can get double points at the end. Good to know. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. It's like final jeopardy. Bet it all. <laughs> That's right. Bet it all. Uh, I'm going $2,000 on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, question two. Which African-American newspaper helped the Double V campaign gain popularity? Pittsburgh Courier, Chicago Defender, Miami Times, or Richmond Planet?
Oh my, I forget. <laughs> I better, I better get on Google. <laughs> We have two votes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pittsburgh Courier. It's <clears throat> on the Wikipedia. Correct. Pittsburgh Courier. <laughs> so, Do you remember learning about uh, African American newspapers? It's probably the second session where Chicago Defender came up, kind of in passing. But uh, this was a, actually a big deal. Um, and there was a lot of, uh, like these newspapers, they were, they were shipped all over the South. All the way, from, that one from Chicago, especially everyone in every little town all over, all over the South, they would uh, throw, throw them off the trains by bundles and everybody would pick them up and that's how people knew what was going on. But the campaign was for overseas. Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is in the '40s, but I was talking like we. Oh, I see. Yeah, we talked about the Chicago Defender um, like four sessions ago. Yes. Okay. Uh, question three: What did Truman do that enraged Southern Democrats? He nuked Japan. <laughs> he stopped supporting civil rights for African Americans. He began supporting civil rights for African Americans, or he got the U.S. involved in the Korean War. I actually just heard this a couple weeks ago, mm. and I cannot remember what it is. It was something I was watching on CNN about um, first ladies. They oh were yeah, about it, and I. Oh, oh sorry, everybody. Oh, we're in a, oh, okay. I, I think I can fix this, Jen. What's that? I think question three was a lightning round from last week and everybody's oh. running out of time. Oh, okay. I think I can fix that though. That's really not fair, is it? I did double check these this time. Okay, let's go back to two and then back to three. Does that work for the reset? Still showing oh. time ran out. Hmm. On my screen. I'm showing the points countdown. Okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> so nobody got okay, to well, live and learn. Uh, it, it was he began supporting civil rights for African Americans. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what he did that amazed the Southern Democrats. Uh, he also did nuke Japan, and he also did get the U.S. in the Korean War, but it was the... I, I'm, the I'm sure they loved him bombing people. <laughs> See, that's where I was getting confused with. I thought it was C was my original thought, but then D kind of rang something that I'd been listening to, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if it had anything to do with bombing people and starting wars, I'm sure the Southern, Democrat, the Southern guys would have loved him. <laughs> Okay, so we'll move on to question four after, hang on a second, let me show you this. Oh. Uh oh, Ooh, go Lyle. <laughs> I'm guessing so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Google hasn't been helpful to me. No. Well, let's try for question four then. When the Democratic Party split, who led the state's rights party, also known as the Dixiecrats? Was it Alvin W. Barkley, Barry Goldwater, Hugh Lawson White, or Strom Thurmond?
So while people Google, I just want to give a shout out to Jen for pronouncing all these names. <laughs> Don't scroll away. I keep, every time I'm in Wikipedia, it's telling me to donate the money it's their yearly campaign. Yeah. Two votes. Three votes. And three. Strom Thurmond. Okay. Did everyone get that? Yes. Interesting uh, interesting character. While to find out. Guess who um, gave his eulogy? Ooh. Um, Martin uh -huh. Luther King? Barack nope. Obama. Nope. Uh, Joe Biden. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I was close, but without going over. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. I listened to it. It's uh, inter interesting. Uh, to say the least. So, well, yeah. it, was, it wasn't that long ago, 13 years ago. Or, or That's right. Yeah. yeah. Seven years ago. Yeah. Um, okay. Question five. Oops. In the 1940s, which group pioneered the use of nonviolent direct action in America's civil rights struggle? The National Urban League, the Congress of Racial Equality, the Black Panther Party, or Color of Change? Two votes. Okay, well, I'm voting uh, core. And that is correct. Show us the standings. <laughs> you don't mind? <laughs> Such a slave driver. Ooh. Ooh. Aaron is catching up. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So there were. There were two groups that were uh, using this uh, nonviolent direct action in the 40s. And that's kind of when it started. It was, this is pretty brand new. It had never been done before. Uh, but uh, CORE was the one who, who uh, were the first guys to figure it out. Um, the other group was the March on Washington movement that we learned about uh, last week. They're the ones that got that uh, executive order uh, pushed through. They said they'd call off the march if the uh, president signed this thing. 
I, for some in my mind, I associate the Black Panthers with violence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were a little bit more, they weren't violent, but they were more offering more militant. They, they, did, they didn't do a lot of damage, but they threatened to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about that. Just uh, that they were, you know, doing lots of social justice stuff and that, that they were all, you know. Yeah, they, they had the attitude, yeah, we got to fight for this. Yeah. Uh, but we'll learn that, I hope, coming soon. Yes. Okay, question six. Early in his legal career, with which organization did Thurgood Marshall successfully argue a number of cases before the Supreme Court? Was it Howard University's African Law Student Association, his own private practice based in Baltimore, the NAACP's Legal Defense and Educational Fund, or the American Fund for Public Service? Bless you. Not that. Oh, we have two votes. Okay. We have three now. <laughs> and three, the NAACP's Legal Defense and Educational Fund. He was their chief legal counsel. Still very active. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, oh the NAACP? Yeah. Yeah, they're, I think they're still very active. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the LDF, I didn't know that. Uh, the Legal Defense and Educational Fund, yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of them came out of Howard University. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Thurgood's uh, <laughs> professor was kind of his mentor and then he became his colleague and he was involved in this as well. You know, so, so. Okay. Three, two, one, seven. To comply with a Supreme Court ruling, which law school admitted Ada Sipwell, then gave her a chair marked colored and roped it off from the rest of the class? University of Oklahoma, University University of Missouri, University of Maryland, the University of Georgia. Two votes. Okay. Uh, and I will vote University of Oklahoma. Which is correct. <laughs> I was going off memory. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, this is one of uh, one of those cases that uh, that guy we just learned about, Howard Thurman. Yeah, uh, one. So uh, he took on a lot of schools and who were segregated and got them to uh, get let black people study there. 
it was all that uh, separate not but equal. Uh, he, he kind of proved over and over again to the Supreme Court that this wasn't a thing in reality. That's what we learned about about four sessions ago. With, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't say more. <laughs> There's a question coming up. <laughs> okay, question eight. Brown versus Board of Education ruling partially overruled who versus who by declaring that the separate but equal notion was on unconstitutional for American public schools and educational facilities. Dred Scott versus Sanford, United States versus Cruikshank, University of California versus Bakke, Plessy versus Ferguson. votes. And three. Plessy versus Ferguson. So, quick peek. Wow. Yeah. Everyone's within striking distance except me. No, I am too. Yeah, two <laughs> lightning rounds, two hundred points. Got double points coming up. <laughs> okay, one question before that. Number nine. Oh. Well, this is it. This is the lightning round. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Rather than accommodate black students in response to Brown versus Board of Education, which three southern states threatened to close their public schools instead? Southern South Carolina, Georgia, and Mississippi. We have two votes. Yeah, no one's going to wait <laughs> for Jen to read the question. <laughs> no, and that's okay. I I thought we had ten questions, but well, uh, I, I was, that's because I said we had ten. Oh, silly me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there you have it, guys. Mm -hmm. South Carolina, Georgia, and Mississippi. Oh, look at that. Oh. Four oh. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. Four points. Wow. Holy cow. It's like a finger twitch. Mm. <laughs> wow. Awesome. I got to I gotta take a picture of this. Oh, so we can brag. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's insane. Cool. Sorry, this is a little bit. That is a photo finish. <laughs> that is a photo it finish. Definitely that was. There you go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was, yeah, was fun. Yeah. Learned I learned stuff again. <laughs>